Hello everybody. Welcome once again to our one question a day learning program. We are still in the chapter of development of tooth and the question today that we have taken is late bell stage. This could be a short notes by itself or be a part of an essay questions like this. List or enumerate the stages of uh, like, uh, tooth formation describe in detail about the late bell stage. So whatever may be the late bell stage is a very important short note that often gets uh, commented on or questioned in your exam sheets and your assignments or your unit test. For this, the key is the bell stage in tooth development start with a brief introduction, start from the time of breakdown of dental lamina, talk about the heart tissue formation, describe in detail about the reciprocal induction, formation of enamel and dentin from ameloblast and odontoblast respectively, talk about histo differentiation with a diagram, Talk about crown pattern determination, morpho differentiation with a diagram. Talk about root formation, that is the formation of Hertwig's epithelial root sheath and its role in root formation, root dentinogenesis and cementogenesis, very briefly. Formation of single rooted tooth, formation of multi rooted tooth, and note on the fate of HCRs, if possible, with diagrams. If it's a short note, so you can avoid this, the root formation part. If not, if it's a part of an essay questions, Talk about it. And the most importantly, add a note on the clinical consideration, Ex namely the enamel plea formation, enamel pearl formation, and accessory root development. So to begin with, on the question should begin like this. There are four main stages in the tooth development. That is bud, cap, bell. Bell can be further divided into early bell, late bell, and root formation. And with the further deep proliferation of cap stage, it proceeds to the bell stage. And the late part of that is the late bell stage. Here, the histomorpho differentiation are the prominent uh, physiological changes that happens. The heart tissue formation is initiated by a phenomenon called as reciprocal inductions. What is this reciprocal induction? The inner enamel epithelium of your cap stage as it progresses and induces the underlying cells of the dental papilla to differentiate into odontoblast, which lays down the pre-dentin that matures into dentin. Once the first layer of dentin is formed, this influences the secretion or the turning of the inner enamel epithelium into ameloblast. So that ameloblast lays down the enamel matrix as opposition to dentin. So the enamel organ through various stages of morpho di uh, differentiation determines the shape of tooth. There are a lot of genes like fibroblast growth factor, bone morphogenetic proteins, Hedgehog genes, WNT genes that contribute to this formation. So the outline of the crown, the DEJ and the dentino junction laid down. And this is what we call it as technically the blueprint of the tooth. And the ameloblast lays down the enamel, odontoblast lays down the dentin and cementoblast lays down the cementum. And together, all this process happens in the late bell stage. The early breakdown of lantern lamina in the bell stage in the gingiva, we call it as the, or later give rise to the cell rest of serrate. The root formations, once the enamel and dentin formation reaches the future cemento enamel junction, the process of root formation begins. Here, the collapse of the stellate reticulum and stratum intermediate because of the usage of the nutrition, exhaustion, of the nutrition leads to formation of reduced enamel epithelium and the diaphragm formation, okay, or the cervical loop. And this is called as the Hedwig's epithelial root shoot, which drops down or elongates, divides, and undergoes apoptosis, spontaneous apoptosis, exposing the newly formed radicular dentin. The radicular dentin is stimulated again by this Hedwig's root sheath exposure to the uh, dental papillary cells. Once this ruptures or undergoes apoptosis, exposing the newly formed dentin to the dental sac, cementoblasts are differentiated from the dental sac, which lays down the cementum. And HERs at CEJ bends at 90 degree to form a horizontal line or a plane of diaphragm called as the epithelial diaphragm. Depending upon the number of roots, there will be invaginations or tongue formation, bifurcations or trifurcations, tongue-like projections to form the multi-rooted or single-rooted tooth. 
the hsr loses their connectivity and some of which will be found as remnants in the periodontal ligaments and called as the sulcus of malaises the clinical significance if the hrs adheres to dentin they may secrete or turn into differentiate into amyloblast secrete enamel and form enamel pearls if there is a defect in the dentinal wall of pulp the hr hrs lose early connectivity forms accessory roots or root canals and this is the whole structure of what we call it as late bell stage it should be compulsorily accompanied by a neat diagram a histological diagram okay with that we come to the end of this session on late bell stage stay connected for more questions more answers subscribe to the channel stay safe